Welcome everyone to Storytime with Dane and I. Today, we're gonna read Curious George and the Dump Truck. Yes, another Curious George book. Come along and read with us. So over here, you can see we have the title of our book written. It is Curious George and the Dump Truck. And the author of the book who wrote the book is Margaret and H.A. Rays. And this symbol here is a funny symbol for and. H.A. Rays was actually the original author of Curious George. Are you ready to come along and read with us? Dean, are you ready to read with us? Yeah? Okay, he's ready. Curious George and the Dump Truck. Stop, think about this title, Curious George and the Dump Truck. And I want you to think and make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen in this story? Hmm. Go to your Seesaw account and record your prediction before finishing this video. All right, are we ready to read now? We've all made our predictions. Okay. Curious George and the Dump Truck. Let's find out what happens. This is George. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Let's scoot us up so that you can see the book better. There we go. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This morning, George was playing with his toys when he heard a funny noise outside his window. Dane, what do you think the noise is? Oh, we're feeling a little shy right now. Do you feel shy sometimes? It sounded like a quack. George was curious. What could be quacking underneath his window? It was a duck, of course. Then George heard another quack and another. Why, it was not just one duck, it was a mother duck and five small ducklings. Ducklings were something new to George. How funny they were. Something. He watched the ducklings waddle after their mother. Awesome. Where were they going? Okay, okay George, Dana's gonna go get a banana and he'll be back. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, we're back with the snack. All right, where were we? Hmm, what did George hear outside his window? What was that again? Oh yeah, that's right, it was a quack, right? But why, it was not just one duck, it was a mother duck and five small ducklings making that quacking noise. Ducklings were something new to George. How funny they were. He watched the ducklings waddle after their mother. Where were they going? George was not curious for long. Soon he was waddling after Mother Duck, too. Now he could see where they were going. The ducks waddled all the way to the park. George loved the park. Today he saw children flying kites and gardeners planting trees by the pond. Then George saw something he had never seen in the park before. What do you think that is? What do you think George is seeing? Can you find it in the picture? What do you think is making George curious, Dane? What did he see? Yeah, yeah. You're right, he sees that. What is that, everyone? It's a dump truck. It was a dump truck and it was big. In fact, George was not even as tall as one wheel. George forgot all about the ducklings and stopped to look. It would be fun to sit in such a big truck, thought George. No one in was inside the truck and the window was wide open. George could not resist. But sitting in a big truck was not so fun for a little monkey after all. George could not even see out the window. 
Oh no, he was too small. If only there was something to climb on. Would this make a good step for a monkey? It did. Now George could see out the window. He saw grass and trees and a family eating a picnic. Suddenly George heard a low rumbling sound. Was it his stomach rumbling? He wondered. It had been a long time since breakfast. Was your stum stomach rumbling a minute ago, Dave? No. It was maybe because you were hungry, huh? No. <laughs> My stomach rumbles when I get hungry. But the rumbling was not coming from George's stomach. It was coming from the back of the truck. George was curious. He climbed out the window, and then, like only a monkey can, he swung up to the top of the truck. Now he could take a look, and he saw that the truck was full of dirt. I am jumping. George was excited. What could be better than a truck full of dirt? George jumped right in the middle of it, sitting on top of the dirt. George felt the truck bed begin to lift. It tilted higher and higher and the dirt began to slide. It was sliding right into the pond and George slid with it. George was having fun. But the pile in the pond got bigger and bigger and bigger. And soon the fun was all gone. How is George feeling now? How do you think he's feeling, Dane? Maybe a little worried? Just then, the gardeners came back from lunch and stood with their mouths wide open. They saw the empty dump truck, the pile of dirt in the pond, and a very muddy monkey. They knew just what had happened. But before they could say a word, George, heard a familiar sound. Stop and pause and think. What do you think that familiar sound might be? What could he be hearing? Quacking. Quacking? Yeah. That's a great guess, Dane. Great prediction. He heard more quacking. You were right. The gardeners heard it too. Then they heard people laughing. Look, said a girl. The ducks have their own island. Indeed they did. The pile of dirt made an island in the pond and mother duck and all her ducklings were waddling right on top. George was sorry he had made such a mess, but the gardeners didn't seem to mind. Go ahead. We were planting more trees and flowers to make the park nicer for people. We're almost done with the story, Dane. But you've made the park nicer for ducks, too. Later, a small crowd gathered at the pond. Would you like to help me feed the ducks? A girl asked George. George was delighted. Soon, everyone was enjoying the park more than ever before, including the ducks who were the happiest of all in their new home. The end. I hope you made it to the end of the story. Dane didn't today. He's hungry. This food made him want a snack. This book made him want a snack. So we're gonna go get a snack. Oh, oh what did you get, Dane? Oh, that's a nice healthy snack. You know what that is? Yeah pistachio nuts. We're going to go have some nuts. Don't forget to check your prediction on Seesaw and tell me what really happened in the book. Thank you for reading with us. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Say bye. Bye. Was this good? Yes.